Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video session, we're going to take a look at text on a path in Corel Draw. And once we get text on a path, we'll have the text on a path property bar. The first thing I want to look at is putting text on a path from the text in the menu. So we'll go to text, come down to fit text to path. That will change to an arrow with the text to path icon. And you can see now I haven't applied it yet but I'm sliding my text around my ellipse path. Now when you see that red line, you know it's going to be centered with the shape or the object. There is the node that would be on the other side. Once again, so you can see how that works. So that's centered. Now if I left click, that text will be on the path. And I'll have the text on a path properties bar. I'll zoom in here and let's take a look at what we can do with the properties. Here I have the text orientation. If I change that, you'll see the changes. The text will go straight up and down, text going out in a different direction, and then kind of lined up differently. Almost all the time I go with the default. Here we have our offset. Now what if I would like my text at the bottom of the ellipse? Left click, hold down, drag. You can see that, and this is interactive. Bring this back down to the bottom, go to the center point, and release, that'll be centered. But now I would like to have my text reading from the left to the right. So I'll come to the mirror horizontally, and then the mirror text vertically, and now it's correctly set up for reading left to right. And I can interactively left click, hold down and reposition the text. I can also set up my tick snapping for when I'm moving text. I can change my font, change my font size. I'll go from 12 to 14 points. That'll change the size. I could make that bold. I could come back, left click, hold down and pull that out. You can see the interactive blue outline of the text and also a blue interactive contour around the ellipse. So that's the basics of how the text on a path works. And we did that from the text menu. There's a couple of different ways that we can put text on a path and work with it. I'll turn off the bold here. Now, if we don't want to go to the menu, we can get to the text on a path Simply select the text with a left click, then right click, hold down, hover over the object or curve that you want to fit the text path to. You'll see the cursor change to the crosshairs of the center point. Release, come down to fit text to path through the right click contextual menu and your text will be on your path. And then you can do the same things as you could working with it as we did coming out from the text menu to move your text. Once again, if you want to go down to the bottom of the object, you can bring that down here and position it any way you want, holding down your left mouse button interactively. You can see the center is right there. Then again, we'll want to mirror horizontally and mirror vertically. So the text is going from left to right and is in the upwards direction. Left click and you can make further adjustments holding down with your left mouse button and release when you have your text where you would like it to be. 
Also, just like working with text regularly, with the Shape tool, we can go to the Shape tool, come down and click on our text, and begin working with the text on a path with the Shape tool the same way. Left click, hold down one character node, and I can move that. Now that's going to be constrained to the path or I can left click and hold down and move an entire word. I'll hit control Z. Now if there were lines here we could adjust the line spacing. I can also adjust the spacing between the characters. Left click, hold down and you'll see that. And if I hold down shift I can adjust the spacing between the words but I'm always limited to or constrained to the path when I'm working with the shape tool when it's text fit to a path. I'll hit control Z again. So you can see how that works and it's very dynamic and how we can work with the text on a path, the pick tool and make adjustments and really dial things in the way we would like them to be as far as shaping text along a path. It doesn't have to be just an ellipse. I can go along any shape. I could select this, right click, come down here, release, and come down to fit text on path. It will go along that path. It will usually come over here and start on the end point. But I can select that text, left click, and start to move it along my path interactively and dynamically just as I could with the ellipse tool and I could go to the shape tool and do the same types of adjustments. So that's the right click for text on a path or a curve. We'll zoom out and we can also just start writing text on a path. We'll go to the text tool, come here, we can see that change. We're right about the center. That'll set that there. We'll change the text to 12 point and we'll go text on a path. Now because we're in that mode it started from the center. Now I can go back to the pick tool and from here I can't hit my space bar to go back to the pick tool. I have to go to the pick tool, left click, hold down and I can begin to make adjustments and dial that in interactively just as I did with the other two methods of fit text to path. Now here we have a glyph node and that node we can also select to do the same type of interactive movement. And we can see right there it's lining up the end of the text to the center. But really the glyph node even though it's there you can just do that from the regular text itself and you'll see that it's basically the same thing. So the red glyph node or just clicking your text will give you the same results and the same type of interactivity. We'll zoom out here and we'll zoom in down here and we've covered all of this but I did put this in here for notation just so that you'll have it when you download the documentation. And Let's say we want to add some text to this emblem design here between the inner and outer ellipse. We have sample message here or some text we want to put in here. To that, typically what I would do is just left click, right click, drag that down till my cursor changed, then fit text to path. I'll come over here and click on a white to make that white. Now that set up as a white text, I could go to my glyph node or the text itself and bring that up and start moving that. Now you can see it's kind of snapping around. I'm trying to get that in the center and I'm just not happy with the way that's up towards the top. Well if I want to get that in and I'll zoom in here, if I want to get that center a little bit better I'll come up here to tick snapping and I'll turn that off and I'll close that. Now I don't have that ticking going on and I can really center this or position to where I would want it to be. Now since I'm working with an emblem I might want some text at the bottom also. If I take this text I'll just bring this down here and we'll zoom in. 
you notice if I right click and hover over that I'm not going to get another option to place text on the path you can only have one segment of text on the path at a time but I can simply go to the ellipse select everything just go copy and paste now here I've got the two on top of each other I'm going to select the glyph node to make sure I'm selecting the text on top if that's what I want and I'll just change and mirror that and then I'll take that glyph node left click come down and bring that down here to the bottom and I'm already set to go because I did set up the mirroring for the vertical and horizontal and my text will be in the correct position come in here until I get to the center get that centered like I would like it and there you have that now if I wanted to make some more adjustments once again go to the shape tool I could left click hold down and change the spacing between the text a little bit I could hold shift and pull it out and change the spacing between the words a little bit because shift is the hotkey to change the spacing between the words as opposed to the text now you can see this ellipse is on top of the other ellipse but I'm just going to click off click on select the ellipse right click and select cut and that will delete the ellipse now I won't have my text on the path anymore It'll be independent but it's already in place and I'll be ready to go so really what you want to do if you want to do that is select the ellipse not the text select the ellipse then right click and go to cut and you can remove the path object I'll hit control Z and we'll put that back so here we've covered a lot of things relating to fitting text to a path in Corel draw we'll finish here for working with the text and we'll continue in our next video session